My name's D-Face, Aka Dean Stockton, you're watching Off The Wall. I guess the, the influence of, of American culture on my work stems back from me as a kid. You know, I was, grew up heavily influenced by skateboarding. Skateboarding has dictated my life as a teenager. Um, and graffiti as a kid growing up in London. Seeing graffiti around, there wasn't really any books or magazines, and the only two books there were were Subway Art and Spray Can Art. And you know, when you see those books, and it's, it's very much New York centric, you can't help but be influenced and be like, I want to be there, I want to be a New Yorker. In London, it's a million miles from this place. And you know, my parents didn't have a whole bunch of money. Going to America was never an option. Going to New York was certainly not an option. Um, so I just dreamt by looking at the magazines, looking at Thrasher. There's always a significance for an artist having a first solo show in New York City. It's, it's a big deal. New York City is the international art market. And I like to think that we've created a platform here for artists that they get a lot of attention. It gives them a certain level of legitimacy that they don't get otherwise. New York's got the, the strongest art market in the world. And it's an important place for artists to show. Hopefully what it does for D-Phase is that it opens them up to a much larger and broader audience. The show is, isn't just about hanging pieces on the walls, it's about bringing something to the whole space. So, you know, the, the work you do in the street, it, it has impact because it's in the street, it predominantly shouldn't be there, and if it is, it, it, it has a, you know, a punch to it. And it's important to me that when you come to the gallery, I try and bring the same effect or punch to it, so that you have to see it, because I want you to experience it in the flesh, in the space, for that duration of time. Otherwise, you might as well just post the pictures on the internet. The, you know, the ideal of the swirl is it's sucking the paintings off the wall and actually into a little tiny eyeball that's in the middle of the floor, which is essentially what this whole concept's about. It's about this body of work is about this. It's about you dr dragging these colours and these images into your, into your consciousness, into your, into your mind. The, the concept is about uh, our society being you know, constantly saturated with visual pollution. Um, in the forms of you know, advertising. If you live in a city, it's pretty much part of your life. And how much of that information we actually store and keep, if any, and what do we do with that, and sort of the appetite for this constant turnover of images. And so this is essentially like an assemblage of, of my lifetime journey. The double title is all your dreams belong to us, because where do your dreams come from? They come from the things that are around you, and with so much visual pollution around you, so much advertising, do your dreams belong to you or do they actually, are they actually given to you by the, you know, the, the marketing, the advertising? Are they your dreams? They're not really, are they? They're, they're dreams that you're told. The shutters we painted, um, they were in a, a really cool area, you know, not, not cool as in trendy, but like a really sort of uh, traditional, what I call traditionally New York area. We had various things planned, so we, like, we, you know, we had the colonel's eyes, we had a skeleton mouth and we had various bits of text that were pre-planned and really it was just very on the moment of like actually how's this going to come out. People were just rolling by, you know, it's just saying, oh shit, it's Spongebob, oh shit dude, look, I can see that, it's the colonel's eyes. Everybody was thanking us for doing it, which is very uncommon in England, in London, if you're painting shots, most people would be like, you can't do that, what are you doing? And it was really hot, actually really heartwarming that they'd see it in a way that was like brightening up their community as opposed to uh, like, what the fuck are you doing? You're making this place look horrible, which is how most people view public art or, or certainly anything using a spray can. People are, are it's generally turned off to it, but these people are very welcoming. Each show ties into, uh, a, a spawns a thought, you know, and it may just be one little nugget. This has started spawning lots of ideas about how the intersection of images works um, and how you can tie the space in together with, with, with painting the floors or painting the walls. I would definitely explore the idea of interaction and layering and levels. I think there's, you know, these can have multiple, multiple layers, um, which could be done in numerous ways. So. That's, that's kind of like the, the beginnings of, a, of the next show. It's, it's, it's about a space, it's about physicality, so I'd like to do more 
um, of within people interacting within the space.